So this will be a quick video because this isn't all that interesting, but uh, it's a technique I haven't seen before, so I thought I'd throw it out. Um, I've had my uh, RepRap uh, Prussia Mendel uh, kit from MakerGear.com uh, for for a while, and uh, I've, I've recently, you know, had the time to get it fixed up and you know properly calibrated and working, and it's working pretty good, but. As anybody that has built one of these will tell you, uh, job one is getting the bed level, right? Because if your bed's not level, you're going to have adhesion problems and layering problems and just all, just everything goes to hell. Um, and I've seen various approaches for bed leveling uh, before. A lot of people talk about, uh, you know, you get you a, a set of feeler gauges out and, you know, you pick something and you... You know, you get that up under the the extruder and and try and uh, try and get it level in three places. Um, and I've even, uh, in order to assist this, I had, had previously made up a set of you can see them right through here, but little uh, little thumb screw attachments uh, right under my uh, my bed uh, to try and uh, to make it a little easier, so you're not having to grab a a screwdriver and screw with it, but but even so, uh, it didn't help because it's tough to measure. Um, so uh, I watch on on YouTube a lot of uh, a lot of machinist videos, a lot of uh, um, t uh, specifically videos from uh, uh, Turnright Machine Works and uh, Tom from from Ox Tool, and uh, you know it's it's not you know my field. It's it's not my machining isn't really my you know, my area of expertise or training or anything, but I find it interesting, and I find there's always stuff to learn. And uh, in particular, you know, the the possibly the the most important thing I see those guys, you know, emphasize over and over again is you know location and and measuring. You know, figuring out where you're supposed to be and and where you're going, and uh, so that you're you're actually removing the right material or putting the hole in the right place or whatever and uh, you know they I, I see these guys spend a huge amount of time you know more time far more time actually doing setups than actually doing you know any any sort of you know work or cutting or whatever machining work um so in thinking about this uh, i thought i'd kind of steal a book from the the machining uh steal a page from the machining handbook i guess so i went down to the local uh, crappy import tool store and picked up one of these uh, crappy import dial indicators. Now I'm sure everybody who actually has a machine shop or you know has actual measurement tools is you know moaning and groaning at this, um, uh, but for for the purpose I think it's okay. And what I end up doing it's it's got this little lug on the back. Uh, I'll point out uh, here. So it's got this little lug kind of cast into it. So I you know, just took a little small piece of stock, uh, put a hole in it, and uh, found a flat spot on the, uh, the, the print head, the extruder head here, and just kind of clamped it on with a, with a little C-clamp. And uh, got it such that you can now uh, get the point of the dial indicator down on the bed, move it down and zero it out, and now uh, I don't have the, the power supply to this running because you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. But now you can actually uh, move the extruder head and see that dial indicator move around a little bit. Now this thing, I just let it spring off. Oops, there we go. Um, now obviously this isn't a great indicator, so it has some issues with repeatability and, and zeroing. So you have to be kind of careful. But um, you can actually get a fairly decent notion of where you are uh, in terms of, of level. Uh, the way I had to mount this, I can't put the point of the indicator at all the points where the extruder can go, but you can get a pretty decent idea over about two-thirds of the bed surface. Uh, and it seems to work pretty well, and I haven't seen anybody uh, use this method uh, before. I haven't, haven't heard anybody mention it, and it seems like uh, it's not bad. I'm sure with proper uh, proper tools, proper indicator, that it would be a lot, uh, a lot more conclusive, but it seems to, to work fairly well. So I just wanted to throw that into the ether, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's never bad to pay attention to what 
you know, people that actually know what they're doing are doing and how they go about doing it, even if, you know, initially you don't think uh, it would be applicable to the job that you're doing. So, uh, yeah, I just want to kind of throw that out there and see if uh, it would be of, of use to anybody. So uh, that's it for now. Bye now.